Hey friends, Jim again. In today's video, we're going to talk about this handy T-Track camera mount. If you'd like to shoot videos in your shop, this project might be one for you. I've been using this RAM mount for holding my camera and GoPro around the shop lately. I typically just screw it to a piece of plywood, but today I got the idea to attach it to my T-Track. Let's start with some scraps. I found a simple piece of oak in my scrap bin and cut it to a good length. I then eased all the edges on my disc sander. The hardware used to secure to the T-Track is pretty basic. I found the plastic thumb screw at my local Ace hardware store. Check your T-Track to see what size bolt head would fit in it properly. Mine came out to be a quarter inch bolt, so I grabbed a quarter inch drill bit. And to be honest, this is the toughest this job gets. Drill a single hole. So what this armature is, it's called a ram mount. You might see them in police vehicles um, or other people's cars. I use it in my car quite a bit just to hold my phone. They make specific mounts for all sorts of things for, um, for, to go on boats, motorcycles, cars, anything. You can even get like little vice grips, kind of like Frank Howarth clamps that you can clamp, you could just clamp onto this um, rotter table fence. But for me, for my sake, I've always just used this with a suction cup mount. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. This just screws in there, and it's a suction cup for my car. Um, but the screws work perfectly in wood as well. And I'm actually filming um, a YouTube video for these sliding dovetail shelves. And I'm filming the whole thing on my Google Pixel. Um, I kind of wanted to challenge myself a little bit. I like that I get free cloud storage of all my videos and photos. So really, I don't even have to deal with an SD card. I just go into my house um, and connect to the better Wi-Fi, an extender out here. Connect to the better Wi-Fi in the house, and all my 4K videos from this camera are uploaded to the cloud. And then I can download them on my computer and edit them on my machine there. So I thought I'd challenge myself, do that whole project on just my phone, which, if you think about it, is a little bit tricky because I don't have zoom and all this fancy camera equipment like I do on my DSLR. But also, there are some shots that um, this just won't work. What I've been doing is just screwing this onto a piece of plywood and hoping it balances. And it's I put like pieces of wood on this stool, and the camera's like over here looking this way. And I said, you know what? I've got these really great hard maple stops for my router table. Why can't I just do something similar? for the RAM mount. So that's what I did. Um, there are so many avenues you can take this. They make different size arms for this guy. Um, so you can get, I think, like 10 inch arms. You can connect multiple arms. So really, you can have a little round piece of wood that goes in the T-slot and have four arms and you get your camera out here, actually, um, if you wanted to. This is gonna work for me. I did order another one inch um, base plate with that little ball just now on Amazon, actually. It was $7 just for this. I should say, this whole RAM mount's probably 30 or 40 bucks, I think. Um, but there are ways you could do this with just wood, too, actually. But this one is actually working really well for my purposes. Basically, it's going to enable me to position the camera, or the phone, I should say, wherever I need it. Down here, tighten it up, 
going to move back and forth on the T-Track, obviously, um, and it's going to work great. I may actually make a longer version of this arm out of wood to come out this way, but really this is going to work well for me in all areas of the shop where I have a T-Track. I always talk about all these plans I have for my shop, and I swear I have plans. So I've got like eight feet of this uh, Craig T uh, mini track and two Rockler hold down clamps. I have plans to make a drill press table, I swear. So this will work great in the drill press table as well. So yeah, this is actually a really cool idea. I don't think I've seen anybody do this on YouTube, so I thought I'd make a quick video when I thought of it. And you'll see footage of it in action, well, footage taken from it in action, um, coming up soon on the Cherry Sliding Dovetail Shelves. If you guys like what I do, uh, of course, like and comment uh, on the videos. I love hearing what your thoughts are on these things. Uh, but also subscribe, I'd really appreciate all of your support in helping my little wood shop and its YouTube channel grow. Also, you can follow along on these types of projects on my Instagram account. Um, and a little bit more on Twitter these days at Rivertown Wood on Twitter. So thanks guys, work safe, stay humble, I'll see you soon.